Hey guys, Nick here from Into Fly Fishing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly tie on flies while you're on the river. If you're like me, you waste way too much time with your flies in your hand, clumsily trying to tie them on while the fish are rising all around you. If you learn how to tie your flies quicker, you can make sure that they're on the water more, and therefore catch you more fish. So before I learned this technique, I was always fumbling around and it took me way too long to change my flies. But once I figured this out, I had the confidence to change my flies whenever I felt like the fish weren't biting. And that really helps you to catch more fish and be a better angler overall. So to get started, have your fly in your right hand and your tippet material in your left. And then just thread the tippet material through the eye of your fly, like so. And then pinch the tag end of the tippet material with your left hand and pull it out. Now pinch both the tag end and the running line of the tip of material in your left hand between your thumb and your index finger and let the fly dangle. At this stage it's really really useful to just make sure that the tag end of the tippet here is hanging out kind of perpendicular to your thumb. Now take your forceps and stick them through the loop that you just created and then spin the forceps around five times. Three, four, five. Don't worry about the fly as it kind of spins around the forceps. Um, and at the end here, you're just going to open up the forceps a little bit, clip onto the tag end, and then just pull that through. And before you completely pull it tight, I like to just let go of everything and wet it a little bit so that the knot is properly seated. And then just pull that all tight. And then you have the perfect knot you've tied on your fly properly. Um, it's really, really an easy technique and it speeds things up enormously. So let me just show you that one more time. I'm going to click this off here. All right, so let's do that one more time. You're gonna have the fly in your right hand, tippet material in your left. Simply thread the tippet material through the eye of the fly and then pinch the tag end of it with your thumb and index finger of your left hand and pull it so that you have a couple of inches there. And now you've created a perfect loop um, and you're pinching the tag end and the running line with your left hand and between your index finger and your thumb. Let the fly dangle. Then stick the forceps through the loop that you just created Spin the forceps around five times, not worrying about the fly as it spins around. And then just grab onto the tag end of that tippet material and then pull that through. And before you completely seat the knot, it's always wise to just give it a little bit of saliva or river water and then pull it tight. Um, as you get better and better at this, you can tie them with hardly any of this tag material out here. It's a really, you don't have to waste a lot of um, tippet material while you're doing this. Um, when I'm on the river, I can get this down to about a half centimeter. A lot of the time I'm doing this demonstration for you guys, so I wasn't really paying attention as much, but it is a really fast way to change your flies while you're on the river and it can just save you a ton of time. All right, let's do this one last time. And this time I'm gonna do it really slow so that if you're at home with a fly and tippet in your hand, you can practice with me and follow along. So take the tippet material and thread it through the eye of your fly. Then grab the tip of material, the tag end of it, between your index finger and your thumb with your left hand, and simply pull it out, and then pinch the running line and the tag end with your left hand in between your index finger and your thumb. Then let the fly dangle, take your forceps, stick the forceps through the loop that you just created, and then spin the forceps around five times, and then grab the tag end of the tippet material, pinch it in between the forceps, and then you can just pull that through. And this is where you can really make it so that you really have no wasted material. If you tip, if you tag the fly here, and you have, you're basically holding the forceps closed, but only about a couple millimeters away from the eye of the hook. And then if you pull on this end, Make sure you wet it before you completely seat it. And then you just pull that and let go of the forceps. And you've basically got, you know, half a centimeter or less, depending on how good at that you get, of wasted material here. And then you can just clip that off. And there you have it. The fly is there and ready to cast. All right, so I'm going to show you guys this one more time. But this time I'm not going to talk and run you through it because I'm going to show you exactly how fast I do it when I'm on the river and going through the tutorial kind of slows me down a little bit. So a bit of an advanced hack, as you can see, I already have my forceps in my right hand and I've thread my index finger and my thumb through them. So I'm ready to use it once I'm ready to pull this knot through. Okay, so here it goes.
that's it. That's how quick it can be. So obviously that saves a lot of time, you know, it used to take me about 10 times that long to tie my flies on when I was on the river or on a lake or whatever. And it's just an awesome technique. So if you guys like this technique, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the notification bell as well. So you'll be notified next time we come out with a new video. And also leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite way to tie on flies is. And if you know a faster way than this, definitely comment down below. Let me know what it is. All right guys, until next time, tight lines.